The joys of being in Florida is I get to help with my daughter's gardening and <laughs> her little puppy is helping too. Uh, she has these incredible snake plants, mother-in-law tongues, whatever you call them. And I can remember when she planted these, there was just like three or four in each of these big pots. And so I get this fun job today. I, she has me all set up here. Look at, look at how great I'm taking care of here set on a table <laughs> this is actually one of my old studio tables and i love it that it's here um and i'm all set up she just brought me a glass of ice water out and what i'm doing is i'm reusing a lot of the soil which is totally fine to do you just have to make sure you feed it so you can recycle don't think you have to run out and buy new soil so she's gathered up all of these pots for me from um, I'm gonna be separating those I'm gonna be creating big spectacular planters for her you know and she thought this was gonna a chore that she asked me to do I'm like this is this is how I spend my perfect day look at this palm trees and plants are you kidding me <laughs> so we I have this one done I just did a video on that one uh, the on how to do that I did I think that was a TikTok. So I want to show you on here. This is, you're always going to get more in-depth stuff, stuff here on our YouTube. So um, we love all the social medias, but see how this guy's leaning a little bit? He won't be in a day or two. I planted him, put some new soil down, and then I'm going to use, um, this is uh, a um, um, fertilizer that she had here. And for, it's her tropical plant. Snake plant is a trop, it's kind of like a tropical plant and a succulent combined. So uh, this, the instructions are always on your feeds. And I have this, I have a watering can here that I'm just gonna add one, oops. I gotta open the tippy top of this. And I said in, in my video that I did, I love to garden without gloves on. There are people that think all different ways, but look at that, that little top, that little top needed open. That's clever. Okay, so we're gonna put, let's put four pups in here. One, two, three, four. And let's, I'm gonna have a look here at this label, because the label tells you, Okay, so this food is um, a 1.51 combo. See that up there? The house plant food. That's, what you, that's the numbers you want to look at for your fertilizer. Uh, like outside, I use a 10-10-10 in my garden. But these are for house plants. So they figure they're not getting, you know, the natural rain and all that. So it's a much lower, much lower rate. And that, that tells you your breakdown, those three numbers tell you the breakdown of like the nitrogen and things that are in here, in the food. So let's look at the, what's in this one. What's in this one? So this one, look here, the first number, the first number is 0.05 and then 1, 1. So it'll always have three numbers. So this one has less of the first, more of the middle. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to put some of this in there too, just because I'm using this on a couple different plants and, uh, though you'll see like different, different things are formulated for different things. Um, and she has some aloe plants back here that we're going to be doing some stuff with too. She's changing, she's changing this beautiful garden. Um, we're going to be taking some of the, some of the bigger plants out of there and so she can just mulch and contain it. And that way she doesn't have to worry about any weeding, anything like that. You can just mulch. So mulch and containers, that is a really good way to go. So this one, I think this one says put two, oh, here we go. Put two pumps in. So we'll put two pumps of this. One, two. So we're going to kind of have a double batch here of, of that for our snake plant and this snake plant the pots that you put your plants in are so important 
this pot does not have any drainage on the bottom. No drainage. Now we could put drainage in there, we could drill it, but this is a really pretty pot for inside. It's gorgeous. So um, I put the roots really high in it, so it won't get a lot of water inside. They don't like a whole lot of water. This is perfect. We don't need to put drainage holes in that one. This one that I'm going to paint for outside, look at this. Nice big drainage hole in there. Oh, and this is cool too. Let me show you this. So this little plant did not make it. So this little plant's going in here to compost. Now the container that he was in, this container, this soil, we're going to put right in here. And I'm going to wait to do my watering so I water everything at the end. I just wanted to show you how I'm mixing that up. I wonder if that's my car alarm. <laughs> might be. Oh, that might be my car alarm. Um, although it sounds like it's moving, so no, it's not. That's random. Okay. Um, so this one here, we're going to separate this snake plant. And this, this guy here, I'm going to set him down out of the way. He is done in gorgeous town there. So this plant here, look at how this snake plant grew. So when you're doing, when you're doing this, you might be tempted to do it all on the grass so you won't mess your, get your dirt all over. But I like to use it here because then I can just take the dirt that comes off of the table and look at it. They're right there. There you go, right there. Um, okay, so this snake plant, I'm going to take and I'm just going to kind of roll it till I find my next oh look at look at these look at these roots this is a great example to show you how these roots grow they grow down they make u shapes and they grow back up again I'm gonna set this this pot there's no hole in there so that's gonna be an indoor pot set that out of our way and you want to use you want to put these where you're not bending don't bend these leaves but they come up bending this one <laughs> but because these will snap if you bend these too far these will snap put that over there oh. okay so now we can turn these roll this over and we can start separating now I like to just wiggle and let nature do its thing and oh look this one broke off actually I'm glad that happened because like we'll start with this guy and I'll show you that's not the end of the world. Now it won't, this will never grow again. So I'm just gonna cut that down and I'll cut that with a pair of cutters and then we'll compost this big leaf up. But let's start with that guy. And just get in here and really separate these roots. And look at this. Look at how this guy grows. Oh my gosh. And you gotta just, you gotta, leave leave as much on as you can of these little roots but you're gonna have to cut them so i know that i'm gonna have to cut that so i'm gonna just break this at this point and some people will say they like to use cutters that's fine i have been doing this for about 40 years and i i like to do it this way i think in nature if these get separated and they, they grow, they do grow wild. Um, and I think, I think whatever, I like, I like the rough end. I like the rough end. So this one, um, we're gonna pop him down in here. And now see how that little hump of the old plant, it's gonna act like a filler. And it's gonna really let me just put my recycled soil up in there feed it this stuff will all compost down and f and feed it and I think I might put another two in here so I'm just gonna try to find this one let's take this one up oh he that's what I like when they just pop off like that 
that is absolutely a perfect specimen right there perfect and then when I put them in the pot I don't like to overlap their root I like to just kind of put the roots in there different ways but keep them all at the same level and look at how cool this is the plant that I'm working on besides actually helping hold these straight <laughs> which is really neat now we're gonna let's find our next guy here Oh, this one. Look at this one. Wait, where's he coming up? Yeah, he comes down there. And I'm using my left. <laughs> I'm using my left hand. And you just want to get in there. Twist, pull. Uh. And this is why I don't like to use gloves. Because I can really feel all of my little, all of my little, um, I feel all my little pieces and this is a perfect example here and I pull this out to show you their gorgeous u-shape that they do mm, that guy is really bound in there oh yeah okay I can feel this now here he has one branch going this way and then another root look down 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 in there there's another root going the other way so I'm gonna break that one off oh, try to He's really, really stuck in there. Ooh, just threw dirt up all over myself. Let's just break this guy off. We'll come back to him. Sometimes it's kind of like a puzzle. Sometimes it's kind of like taking a puzzle apart. And you want to be gentle here. You don't want to bend these or break these. These are your fragile parts. Don't do that. And I just broke that guy twice, but he has another branch going the other way, so he's okay. So we'll take him in here. We'll put him down this way. So we got our cluster of three in there. And now, ooh, I will just fill this up with soil, feed it, and she has another beautiful one that probably in a year or two will look like that. So this was started out as three. It started out like this before after these just grow they're prolific down here so I'm gonna get on with this enjoy my day think about your house plants and um, make make more uh, but this isn't really propagation this is separation separate and grow